boys and girls, it's Miss Fletcher and Ellie the elephant. <laughs> Are you glad to see her? Well, she's glad to see you, aren't you, Ellie the elephant? Yes. She says, yes. Isn't she just the cutest little elephant you've ever seen? Okay, so someone please tell me what letter we've been studying this week. That's right, the short E. Now, can you tell me the sound that short E makes? That's right, it sounds like eh. Like you're holding an egg in your hand and you say, you look at the egg and you say, oh, I have an eh egg in my hand. And just like eh, 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 Ellie the elephant. All right, so, well, we're doing Saxon lesson number 76. This is the last lesson for the short letter E. And Ellie says that since this is the last time that we will be together for the short E, we wanted to say our alphabet together. So, I want you to stand up and I want you to say your alphabet. Now, someone tell me how many letters are in the alphabet. Do you remember? Of course you do, you're just so smart. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Now, and there are also vowels in the alphabet. Do you remember how many vowels are in the alphabet? That's right, five. Five vowels are in the alphabet. Can you say them with me? Let's go. A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the five vowels. Now, I want us to say our alphabet with Ellie. And I just want you to move your shoulders like this. Every time we say a letter, we're going to move our shoulders just like this. And when we get to an, a vowel, I want you to, to snap your fingers three times like this. Okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. So let's start with A. Did you snap three times? That's a vowel, so you have to snap three times. Okay? B, C, D, E. That's a vowel. Snap three times. Next one is F. Say it. I hope you're saying them with me. F, G, H, I. That's a vowel. One, two, three. Next one is J. Start with J. J, K, L, M, N, O. That's a vowel. Snap three times. The next one is P. Start with P. P, Q, R, S, T, U. That's a vowel. One, two, three. Next one is V. Say it with me. V. W, X, Y, and Z. Now you have finished all of your alphabet letters, and that's how we always remember what order the letters are in. You know, sometimes we have to take that star test, and sometimes on that star test it will ask you, well, what letter comes after O? All you have to do is say your alphabet inside of your little brain, and you will find out what letter comes after O. The O, well, it's P. See, I'll show you, watch. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. There you go. So see, sometimes when you get those hard questions and you think, I don't remember what letter comes after, after O. All you have to do is remember, well, we've done that in Saxon so many times. That's all you have to remember is just say the alphabet in your, in your head, and you'll get the answer right. I know you will. All right, let's put up Ellie the elephant. Tell everybody goodbye, Ellie the elephant. She's telling you goodbye, and she'll see you soon. Okay, so... I am going to say some words, and if you hear the eh sound, I want you to stand up and say eh. 
just like if you had an egg in your hand, eh. But if you do not hear the eh sound in the words that I say, I want you to sit down just like this, like Leo the lion, like this, and don't get up, okay? All right. The first word is wet. Say it with me. Wet. Did you hear the eh sound in wet? Yes, you did. See, listen. Do it with me. Wet. I heard it. Stand up, everybody. Stand up. Say it. Eh. Yes. Very good. Now sit down and we're ready for the next word. Okay? The next word is met. Say it with me. Met. Did you hear the eh sound in met? I think I did. Let's break it up. M, m, e, t. I did. You did too. Stand up. Stand up, boys and girls. E. Very good. You heard the e sound in met. All right. What about this one? Elk. Say it with me. Elk. Did you hear the e sound in elk? I think I did. Break up the word, everybody. Elk. Yes, I heard the e, e at the very beginning of the word. Stand up, everybody. Say e for elk. Very good. Sit down. All right, the next word is gnat. Did you hear the e sound in gnat? Say it with me. Gnat. Let's break it up and see if we hear it. N -a -t. Did you hear the e eh sound in gnat? No, no, no. Shake your little finger and say, no, no, no. You did not hear the e eh sound in gnat. The next word is bet. Say it with me. Bet. Did you hear the e eh sound in bet? Let's break it apart and see if we hear the e. Eh sound in bet. B -e -t. Did you hear it? Why, yes, you did. Stand up. Stand up and say eh. Because you heard the eh sound in bet. All right, what about this word? Hand. Say it with me. Hand. Did you hear the eh sound in hand? Let's break it apart and see if we heard it. Heard the eh sound in hand. <sighs> and uh, did you hear it? No, no, no. No, no, no. You did not hear the eh sound in hand. No. All right. What about hop? Say it with me. Hop. Did you hear the eh sound in hop? Let's break it apart and see. If we hear the e eh sound in hop, <sighs> ah, p. did you hear the e eh sound? No, no, no. Shake your little finger and say no, no, no. No, you didn't. What about this word? On. Say it with me. On. Did you hear the e eh sound in on? Break it apart. On. Did you hear the e? Eh sound in on? No, no, no. You did not. Shake your little finger and say, no, 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 Miss Fletcher. No, no, no. Okay, very good. Next word is fret. Say it with me. Fret. Do you hear the e eh sound in fret? Let's break it apart. Everybody do it with me. Fra -e -t. Did you hear the e eh sound in fret? Yes, you did. Stand up. Yes, you did. Say eh, because you heard the eh sound in fret. Very good, boys and girls. Oh, you just make me so proud. All right. Now, you will have your paper. I want you to put it on this side first. And I want you to write your name. And remember to always write your name nice and neatly. 
because you are important. I tell you this all the time, and it's really true. There's only one person just like you in this whole wide world, so you need to take pride in your work. Make it nice and neat, because you matter. And I love you very much. We need to always make our, our work nice and neat. Okay? Now, you see these numbers and these lines right here? I am going to go over all of your letters, your letter cards, and they're all mixed up. But we're going to practice our letters and our sounds. And I want you to do it with me. I want to see you using your hands and your, and I want you to do all of the signals with me. Don't just sit there and say um, this letter, say the letter A, and then I'm over here uh, making the sign of the sound like this, A, and then you're not doing anything, okay? You need to be doing it with Miss Fletcher. Because even if you know the sounds and the, the, the way that all of the sounds sound like, but maybe your friend might not know the sound. It helps your friend if you do the signs and the sounds with us. And it will also help you when you read your words. You won't forget them if you do them with me. So please do them with me. Okay, I, I, I hope that you'll do, do them with me. And I know that you will because you're sweet little boys and girls. All right, so we'll start with number one. They're all mixed up. Say the letter K. Say the sound K. Say the picture Kite. Now write the letter Say the letter T. Say the sound T. Say the picture Tent. Write the letter. Say the letter B. Say the sound B. Say the picture Balloon. Write the letter. Say the letter S. Say the sound S. Say the picture Sun. Write the letter. Say the letter G. Say the sound G. Say the picture Goat. Write the letter. Say the letter C. Say the sound K. Say the picture Cat. Write the letter. Now we're on the next row. Say the letter H. Say the sound H. Say the picture Hat. Write the letter. Say the letter L. Say the sound L. Say the picture Lion. Write the letter. Say the letter short I. Say the sound I. Say the picture Inch. Write the letter. Say the letter short U. Say the sound uh. Say the picture umbrella. Write the letter short U. Say the letter R. Say the sound er. Say the picture rabbit. Write the letter.
Say the letter. Short A. Say the sound. I. Say the picture. Apple. Write the letter. Now you're ready to do the last row. Say the letter. F. Say the sound. F. Say the picture. Fish. Write the letter. Say the letter. Short E. Say the sound. E. Say the picture. Elephant. Write the letter. Say the letter. M. Say the sound. M. Mm. Say the picture. Monkey. Write the letter. Say the letter P. Say the sound P. Say the picture Pig. Write the letter. Say the letter Z. Say the sound Z. -Z. Write the letter. Say the letter O. Say the sound Ah. Say the picture Octopus. Write the letter. Okay, we're finished with that. Now, I need for you to turn your paper over and turn to this page right here. Guess what we're going to do? Do you know what we're going to do, boys and girls? That's right. We're going to read some words. Remember I told you to always look where the vowels are in the word. So, on all of these words, I want you to notice where the vowels are. I'm going to go ahead and highlight mine. I want you to get your yellow crayon and highlight all of your vowels. Remember, vowels are, say them with me, A, E, I, O, and U. When you see one of those in the word, I want you to highlight it. Like for number one, the O is a vowel. Now go to number two and find the vowel in that word. Did you highlight the E? That's a vowel. Now go to number three and find the vowel in number three. Let's see if you got it. Number three. Did you find it? It's an E too. Right there. Okay. Now go to this word and find the vowel. Highlight it in yellow. What is the vowel in this word? That's right, the I. Okay, now go to number five. Now find the vowel in number five. Find the vowel. Highlight it for me and show me which one it is. That's right, it's the E. Okay, now come down here to number six. Find the vowel in this word. Highlight it yellow. Okay. Did you mark the E? Very good. Now you're ready to read these words. Remember, and I'm going to see if you, you can say it with me. When a vowel is followed by a consonant, it makes the vowel what? Short. Very good. So, we're ready to, to um, read our words. Number one. This is M. Say it with me. M-O-P. And P is a consonant. So, a vowel followed by a consonant 
makes the vowel what? Short. So put a breathe on top of the, the O. Everybody put a breathe up on top of the O. Now you're ready to read it. M says, mm, do it with me. Mm. The O, short O, says, ah, do it with me. And the P says, p. All right, get ready to read it. Mm, ah, p. Mm, ah, p. What's the word, boys and girls? Mop. Yes, mop. Ah. Think I see a mop right here. Draw a line from the mop to the word mop. Okay, and now you're ready to read number two. Here's number two. N-E-T. The vowel E is followed by the consonant T. So the E is what? Short. So, what do I need to put above that E? A, breathe. Everybody do it. And now you're ready to read it. I want you to read it with me. Uh, every time I read these words, I want to hear you reading it with me. N says N. The short E says E. And the T on the end, the last Ending sound is t. Do it with me. T. Okay? Let's go. Say it with me. N at. Do it again. N at. What's the word, boys and girls? What's the word? Net. Good job. Net. Is that a net? No. Is this a net? Yes. Draw a line from the net word net to the net. And then I'm going to underline this ST. Get your red crayon and I want you to un underline that just the S and the T in this word right here. Okay? Now, ST. I've told y'all about this one. You take your hand like this and you go st, like you're almost saying stop. Okay, do it again. St. That's for st. That's what st says. St says, do it with me. St. And then you have a vowel followed by a consonant. What do I need to put above this e? That's right. Take your pencil and put a breathe on top of the E. And now you're ready to read it. Let's go. Now, I want you to do that same little sign that I told you for ST. ST says ST. The E says E. Eh. And are you doing it with me? I hope so. And the P says P. All right, let's get ready to read it. S-T says st. E, short E, says eh. Ending sound says p. Do it again. St. E, p. Do it again. St. E, p. What's the word, boys and girls? What's the word? Step. Very good. And look at this. That little boy is stepping. So that is step. So draw a line from this step, this picture of step, to the step, the word step. And you have it. Boys and girls, we are almost finished. Okay? Then we're going to do the last row. Okay? There is a P, a vowel I, followed by the consonant N. What do I need to put right there? A breathe. Take your pencil and write a breathe above the I to show you that that I is what? Short. Very good. All right. P says P. The short I. Do it with me now. 
says e, and the ending sound says n. All right, you're ready to read it. Do it with me now. P, n. Do it again. P, n. What's the word, boys and girls? Pen. Very good. Pen. Say it with me. Pen. Now, is this a pen? Mm -mm. Is this a pen? Yes! Draw a line to it. From the word pen to the pen. All right. Now, oh my goodness, I see another ST. I want you to take your red crayon and underline this ST. Now, do you remember the sign I told you to do for the ST? St. Do it again. St. Like you're telling someone, stop. Stop. Hear the st in st. Stop. Okay. That's why I have that sign for the ST. Now, N, E, that's the vowel, is S. Is that a consonant or a vowel? That's right, it's a consonant. So what do we need to put above the E? A breathe. Take your pencil and write a breathe above the E. Because the E is short in this word because it's followed by the S. Here we go, are you ready? Do it with me. The N says N. Mm. The short E says eh. Are you doing it with me? I hope so. And the ST, do it with me, says st. All right, now you're ready to read it. N-E-S-T. Do it again. N-E-S-T. What's the word, boys and girls? What's the word? Nest. Very good. I knew you could do it. Nest. Which one is the nest? Is this the nest? No, that's not the nest. This is the nest. See the little birdie little eggs inside of that nest? Draw a line from the word nest to the nest. I see those sweet little birdie eggs in that nest. Okay, and the last one is M, an E, an SS. Now, what do I need to put above that E? Because it's followed by the consonant S. What do I need to put above it? The breathe. Very good. That means that the E is what? Short. Very good. Short. Yes. And then you have two letters right here that are exactly the same. What are those called? Twin consonants. Now, when you read that word, do you make both of those S sounds? No, 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 you do not. You only make one sound, and that would be one sound of the S. So let's get ready to sound it out. The M says, do it with me. Mm. The short E says, eh. Did you do it with me? Eh. And the two S's on the end just make one sound of S. Very good. Now let's put it all together. Blend them all together. M says M S. Do it again. Do it with me. M S. M S. What's the word, boys and girls? Mess. And I want you to see this mess in this closet. Have you ever? Well, it's a. It's actually. Um, a locker. Look at that. Nothing's folded up. It's like it's almost falling out. It is a mess. Draw a line from the word mess to the mess in that locker. Okay. Now, down here in this box, I want you to circle all of the E's.
Okay, now read this word. One. Everybody say it. One. Get. Everybody say it. Get. Help. Everybody say it. Help. Ten. Everybody say it. Ten. In two. Everybody say it. In two. All right. It's time for me to say goodbye now. I want to get Ellie the elephant. We have had a good time this, this week. We hope that you always know how much we love you. Never, ever forget it. You try so hard, and it makes us so proud of you. All of your teachers, Miss Wainwright, Miss Fulgham, Miss Frazier, Miss Corson, and Miss Miss Cynthia Daniels. Everybody just we just are so proud. So we want to sing you a little song. Okay. I love you forever and forever. I love you with all my heart. I love you whenever we're together. And I love you when we're apart. And now it's time to say goodbye. I hope you know I love you. And I'll always love you forever and ever, forever and ever, today and tomorrow and infinity. That's my version of the song. It might not be perfectly um, sung, and it might not be the perfect words of the song, but we made our own, and that's all that matters. Right, Ellie the Elephant? I love you so much. Thank you for listening and doing very good work on your um, sax and phonics. Catch my kiss. Bye.